Hey YouTubers, it's liking the covers 4963 back with another video. Want to do a short video. I'm in the midst of reading comics, putting comics in bags and boards, and looking at uh, other people's videos in the midst of uh, kind of multitasking, <laughs> you can call it. Um, what I want to look at in this short video is the uh, book that you see right in front of you there, John Sable's Freelance. Um, I picked up in a small hall number eight uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I went looking through my boxes and I found the first six that I ever collected. Now, I didn't go after any others, and that was a miss, <laughs> a miss thing on, uh, on me, but... Yeah, I, I missed out because I figured out that um, the writer and the artist, Mike Grell, had done this book from issue one to 43. And he's best known for Warlord. And he's also done Aquaman, Green Arrow, Phantom Stranger, and Batman before. And he's also been part of the Legion of Superheroes. Um, he was born in September of 47 which puts him at 67 uh, now. And uh, thank God he's, you know, he's still with us. I don't know if he's still doing anything currently, but yeah. So to getting into this, this is the first issue of John Sable Freelance. And I don't know how many of you YouTubers are familiar, but this one here was one he put uh, his signature on, Mike Grell, 82. And this here came out like, um, I want to say um, a year after I graduated. And I don't know. I mean, I was going through superhero books, but this was different. I mean, this was, I mean, I mean, he's, he's himself, but he also, I mean, kind of, kind of comparison to the Punisher, to James Bond, some of those other um, icons. But um, Sable... Um, to me, I reread it. I reread these issues. Um, still working on number six and eight, but I uh, re start re rereading these and just enjoying it just as well as I first read it back in '83. Um, like I said in my other videos, I, I didn't always put stuff in bags and boards, but um, now that I have, I mean, this is one of those that I put. And, and now I'm, I'm putting new bags and boards on these. And this first one, I mean, <laughs> this first one is hilarious. I mean, this is the first introduction to Sable. Um, Sable is, a little backstory, he's a children's book author in, in his other disguise. But he's also a freelance and, and the, um, the, the head of detectives, detective winners. Can't stand him because he, you know, what he represents. But Sable, I mean, he, you know, I mean, what you see is what you get with, with John Sable, in my opinion. And I am just very, very, you know, I mean, just drudges up, you know, what, why I, I jumped on this series back then. This is number one right here, the premiere issue, John Sable Freelance, number one. This is from June. Uh, Mike Grill, he did the writing, illustration. Uh, everything affiliated with this first issue. Now, these, this here is out of the bag and board because I did not uh, put them back yet. I've been, like I said, I've been reading it. This one here is Death is a Bum Deal. I like the way that's uh, down there in, in uh, yellow and blue. <laughs> but yeah, this one here is a, is, is a classic, iconic cover for me. Um, this is a, uh, issue two. This is from July of 83. Number three is the origin part one. This is the first of the storm over Eden, Eden. And this pertains to his origin backstory of why, you know, why he became, um, the, the individual that he is. And when I read this one, it reminded me of when I first, I mean, it took me back 
I mean, the covers on this, yes, I, I, I like covers. And in fact, it's something that I just love. But this story, intense story. Um, and I, I haven't done any research. And then if anybody can help me uh, know there's any trade, there might be one day I might just try to get it in trade or just get, you know, get more books over time. But these six that I have is the core to me that I, you know, I enjoyed back then, and I'm still glad I have them in my collection. This is number three. This is from August of 83. Again, Mike Grill. Grell, um, he does the writing. He does the illustration. Um, he does the, um, like it says right here, if I can get this in here. It says, create it, written, and illustrated by Mike Rell, Rell. And I recommend pick this up. I mean, if you, you know you want to just read a gray end story and have some good writing, good covers, good. I mean, it's just psh, thumbs up all the way around. John Sable number four. This is from September of '83. This is the second part of the origin. And I don't want to spoil, I don't know if how many people in the community has ever re uh, read these, so I don't really want to give anything away, but if you have any questions or anything, you know, leave them in the comments, um, you know, about um, anything that, you know, might, that when you watch this and you have any questions, leave them in the comments for me. Uh, number five, October of 83, this is part three of, the, of, of his origin. And then the last part, the conclusion... Again, nice cover work. Um, this is one that I was just about ready to read. I, I read the other ones prior. I've read one through five and getting ready to read the conclusion. And <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it reminds me of why I got in on board with this back then. Very well. I mean, writing, uh, writing a person's back, you know, background, their origin, where they come from. Um, it's just many layers to, to Mr. Sable. And then last but not least, the one that I have that I got from my local comic book store, number eight. Um, I haven't read this one. Didn't have this before in my collection. Um, I like that cover. When I was in the midst of looking for stuff, <laughs> I found this due to the cover because of this here and then the orange but and then the yellows from the light and stuff i mean that's i mean that's just blended real real nice there so i just thought i put together a short video um on my views of john sable freelance um hopefully you might give the title a try um and let me know if there's any trades out there of it and um you know how, how many mike uh, grill fans are out there in the community so this is like in the covers 4963. Thank you all real quick for shout outs. Um, I have now 21 or 20, yeah, 21, 22 subscribers. I appreciate your subscriptions. Um, I've subscribed to a lot of yours um, right back and I'm enjoying myself watching yours. Um, and uh, there's some I haven't been able to get to yet and I, I'm working on that. Um, so in the midst of watching videos and doing videos and reading comic books, I am enjoying myself. It helps out a lot um, to get through the days. Um, so, yes. I'm going to come back with more. I still got putting together and rereading some of my Captain America. I don't have a lot of Captain Cap Americas, but I am reading some of those. And I have Daredevil. So, um yeah, I'm going to come back with some more stuff that I'll be putting on. Again, um, like in the community, and um, I, I'm, I'm grateful for this com community. So until next time, guys, uh, it, like I said, in the Midwest, stay warm. Even though we got a little warmth spurts going on, and then now we're back in the freezer. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, this is Like in the Covers, 49.63. Until next time. Take it easy, guys.